Hey students, let's finish this assignment. This is video three for lesson three practice problems. Solve each equation and check your answer. And there's three equations, but you see this one first. So I copied that equation onto my paper to give me more space to solve it. To solve an equation, remember the three steps. Step one, eliminate parentheses. Step two, combine like terms. And step three, isolate the variable. Also, don't forget the rule. You have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation to keep the equation balanced. Okay, let's begin. Step one, eliminate parentheses. When you see this number next to the parentheses, it means you multiply the number throughout the terms in the parentheses. So that's four times three and four times negative two X. This is called the distributive property. That means the number gets multiplied throughout the terms inside the parentheses. So let's do that. 2x stays the same. It is not affected in this step. We're only eliminating parentheses. 2x plus, now 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative 2x is negative 8x. So you write that as minus 8x. And on the other side of the equation, you get 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and 3 times positive 2, which is plus 6. All of that is being divided by the number 6, so I have to keep that. Plus 4 outside of that stays the same. It is not affected. Okay. Now, on this side right here, it is being divided by 6, and I need to do something about that before I can combine like terms. Because this is 6x divided by 6 and plus 6 divided by 6. Both of these terms are being divided by 6. So on the right side of the equation, I'm going to have 6x divided by 6 plus 6 divided by 6 plus four. I can simplify that further because six X divided by six, well the six divided by six cancels out. Six divided by six equals one. So that is one X and I just write X. Plus six divided by six, that's plus one and plus four stayed the same. Finally, the right side of the equation simplifies to x plus 5. But I need, to, I need to catch up with the left side. I just simplified the right side. Okay, let's catch up on the left side here. 2x minus 8x is negative 6x. And plus 12, that's a positive 12, it stayed the same. You can write minus 6x first, negative 6x. You don't have to say 12 minus 6x. These are the same, but you don't have to write it one way or the other, it's up to you. So let me be clear, negative 6x plus 12 is the same as 12 minus 6x. That's the left side of the equation. It equals x plus five. Whew. Okay, step one, eliminate parentheses. That's finished, and I simplified at the same time, and I get 12 minus six x equals x plus five. Step two, combine like terms. The like terms are the variable terms and the constant terms. So I'm gonna combine the negative 6x with this positive x. And I'm going to combine the 12 with the 5. I can choose to combine them on either the left side or the right side, but I want them each on opposite sides of the equal sign. Um, it 
doesn't matter which side I choose, but I notice that if I combine the x's over here, I can get rid of the negative sign. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides of the equation. You've seen me do this many times. So I'm going to do both constants and variables at the same time. So I'm adding 6 to both sides of the equation. And I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. I'm doing that on purpose so that this 5 term moves over here. And so that this negative 6 term moves over here. Let me show you what I mean. Combine like terms. 12 minus 5 is 7. Negative 6 plus 6, wait, let me say that again. Negative 6x plus 6x cancels out. So then I have the equal sign right there. x plus 6x is 7x. 5 minus 5 cancels out. And finally, I get 7 equals 7x. Step three, isolate the variable. X is being multiplied by the number seven. So I have to divide away that number seven. And I have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So divide both sides by seven so that this seven cancels out. Seven divided by seven is one. I get one X. And on the left side, 7 divided by 7 equals 1. So my final answer is x equals 1. Please type your answer in the box right here and submit it. Next problem. It says solve for the variable. Let me get a blank piece of paper. Here we go. 4z plus 5 equals negative 3z minus 8. Be really careful and don't get your z confused with a number 2. So I drew a line through my z. That's just something I do to distinguish them from number 2s. Okay, let's solve for z. Step one, eliminate parentheses, but there aren't any parentheses. So step two, combine like terms. I want to get rid of the negative term right here, so I'm going to add 3z to both sides. And at the same time, I'm going to do the constant terms as well. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. Do it on your paper. Stop the video. Do these on your paper and then check and see that you got the same result as I did. Pause the video. 4z plus 3z is 7z. Positive 5 minus 5 cancels out. Negative 3z plus 3z cancels out. Negative 8. Minus 5 is negative 13. So my final answer, I get 7z equals negative 13. I'm not finished because I still need to isolate the variable. z is being multiplied by 7. So I'm going to divide by 7. I have to divide both sides. By seven. Pause the video and then tell me what you get for z. Come back after you do it yourself. Okay, seven divided by seven cancels out and we get z equals negative 13 over seven. I hope I got it right. Let's try it in the computer. Negative 13 divided by seven. You can enter your answer as a fraction. Yeah, and go to the next problem. Okay, number, not number, the last one. 
let's solve this equation. 1 half minus 1 eighth Q equals Q minus 1 over 4. Ooh, this is more complicated because of all the fractions. All right. Well, step one is eliminate parentheses, but we don't have parentheses. Step two is combine like terms. But if you take a look at this term right here, we have a variable term, Q divided by four, and we have a constant term that's kind of mixed together because they're sharing the same denominator. So I'm gonna rewrite that term. On the left side of my equation, it stays the same. I'm just rewriting this side, and that gives me Q over four minus one fourth, because the four in the denominator goes to both terms in the numerator. Now I can combine like terms. I'm gonna add one fourth to both sides to combine the constant terms. And I'm gonna add one eighth Q to both sides to combine the variable terms. When I do that, I get one half plus one fourth. Well, I'm pretty good at fractions and I automatically know that's three fourths. One half plus one fourth is three fourths. One, negative one eighth Q, this one here, negative one eighth Q plus one eighth Q cancels out. And on the right side of the equation, I get Q over four plus one eighth Q over four. Hmm, I'm gonna rewrite that as one fourth Q plus one eighth Q. See the Q over four? I just rewrote that as one fourth Q. And the one eighth Q, I just kept it the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that fraction together last because I wanna rewrite it first. And then one fourth plus one fourth, I'm sorry, negative one fourth plus one fourth cancels out, that equals zero. Okay, now I need to add together these variable terms. One fourth plus one eighth, mm, I don't remember. I need to find a common denominator so I can add these fractions because I don't remember this one very well. If I have a common denominator, it's gonna be eight. So then this would be two eighths because two eighths equals one fourth. Two eighths Q plus one eighth Q. There we go, now I can add them. Two eighths Q plus one eighths Q equals three eighths Q on the right side. And on the left side, three fourths. Oh, I'm just out of paper here. Sorry about that. I'll wait a second, you can catch up. I'm not done yet. I still have to isolate the variable. Okay, to isolate the variable, I need to divide the 3 eighths away. So divide both sides by 3 eighths. I'll put parentheses around it so it looks a little better. And then on the left side of the equation, I have 3, three fourths, which is the numerator, 3 fourths divided by three eighths. And on the right side, three eighths divided by three eighths cancels out and I only have Q. Here you have to do, you have to divide by a fraction. Please remember, keep change flip. When you divide by a fraction, you keep the first term the same you change the division to a multiplication sign, and you flip the fraction to the reciprocal. Because 3 fourths divided by 3 eighths is the same as 3 fourths times 8 
thirds. And then you can multiply those. When you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So I want you to write this problem on your paper. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. And then tell me what you get for Q. What does Q equal? Pause the video and do it right now. Okay, good job. Three times eight is 24. Four times three is 12. 24 divided by 12 is two. So finally, we get our answer two. Submit your answer. And it says finish assignment. When you click finish assignment, it turns it in for you. If you don't finish the assignment, it'll never turn it in. So make sure that you always finish your assignments. See you later.